what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know i know right but i got an extra hour i got an extra hour so i said let me slide in a spartacus reaction real quick um uh there's no way i could have done anything else i know that either you guys see my community post saw the schedule for the week and was like okay i'm not expecting any spartacus reactions <laughs> for the rest of the week um you guys did get an episode on sunday so um but i'm gonna try to put out this episode so we're just gonna jump right in man there are some questions though from episode one you know um first of all what is this magic trick going on well like i need to know who stitched up lucretia like we really do need to know that because they can't just that that is a plot hole <laughs> you can't just you know what i'm saying even if she did it herself i need to hear her say she did it herself so i'm wondering who else is going to show up episode one was one of the best season openers i've ever watched on tv regardless of what type of tv show i'm watching whether it be a sitcom whether it be just a regular tv show drama superhero shit best season opener i've watched i would i would say in a long time barring like maybe game of thrones i mean power had some really some really good season openers too um yeah but i'm talking about hype and just covering like so many things to get you hyped going into the season and ready for episode two um so spartacus finally listening to Crixus, like by the time let's build an army let's get to a legion and come back for this blabber dude okay um man aurelia went out like a g <laughs> she told spartacus like yo don't go near my son bro all you bring is trouble <laughs> you know and i can I, as i said i understand things from her perspective but i also understand things from spartacus perspective because in his mind he was protecting her not putting her in danger so in some ways you can look at it really and be like you you just bitter you know <laughs> but you know but you do understand things from her perspective but anyways let's jump into this episode and i'll catch you guys for the review welcome back guys welcome back and we've just watched spartacus season two episode three man um they finally found nivia and now we gotta go worry about crixus now because they're gonna bring crixus back so let's just review let's just review the entire episode where we started out with the capture of animaeus and asher have having the task of interrogating um, Animaeus about where Spartacus them um, where they are because they think Animaeus knows where they are um, so he got the inkling of I, I don't know how Asher knows that Nivea was at the mines I guess she because she wasn't sent straight there but I guess he got that he has that information of knowing where she would have ended up because she was passed around that's why I'm like was that the intent from the beginning for her to be passed around and then to the mines or did she go straight from the mines? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's it, the timeline is very confusing when it comes to Navia. So I'm not even going to try to tackle that. But in any case, um, he finally found a way to get through to Navia based on what Lucretia, Lucretia said to him that there are there are many spirits and we've learned this from watching the prequel about what happened between Ganicus and Animaeus' wife. Um, forget her, I forgot her name again. <laughs> Every time you guys remind me of her name, I completely forget what her name is. I, 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 I just keep forgetting her name, her name. And it's a very pretty name too. I love the name, but I just can never remember it. Um, and I'm forgetting it again. So if you guys, I know somebody's gonna remind me again in the comment section but anyways um you guys know who i'm talking about animaeus's wife so it was finally revealed to him by asher of course you know the biggest 
person the person i hate the most in the entire show like there's nobody else in the show i hate more than asher because he's the type of dude where you know he'll do anything to gain favor you get what i'm saying and he's he, he was also kind of scorned because of what he did you know what i'm saying you know as we learn from the prequel of how he came to be the type of person he is you know what i'm saying he really wanted to be um a gladiator but he just he felt like he wasn't treated the right way so he kind of has that kind of resentment towards the rest of them and then also what happened um between him and Crixus when Crixus um when they were in the arena um right when they were in the arena in, the, in, in you know in the prequel in the final battle or whatever and Crixus kind of Crixus is the one that messed up his leg pushed him out of the fucking ring of fire and all of that stuff so that was pre so he has this resentment towards towards Crix towards everybody really well not not really the house of Batiatis because Batiatis kind of raised him up as this information man you know what i'm saying this guy that gets gets a job done a spy even you know what i'm saying so he was like a spy for the, for the house of patiata so i don't like him because he goes against everything that i hate <laughs> you know what i'm saying he, he represents i should say everything that i not go against he represents everything i hate when people are when people are like this they're snakes they just you know what I'm saying? They're cockroaches that just won't die. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they just rear their ugly head every time. You you know, he's the reason why everything kind of got out of control with, um, you know, he, he and he just always dared to see these little stuff to have these these kind of information and stuff like that. He's just always sneaking around just watching. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like him. So he finally figured out from Animeus, right? um what was happening based on what anime has said because he finally decided to speak because he started to talk about what happened between ganicus and his wife so um he was saying lies lies you're telling lies or whatever and then he, he went and said they won't stop until they find her so once he said that asher just put two and two together and figure out that oh so they're trying to find navia I know where Nervia is, so that's where they're heading. That's why they're headed south, okay? So, we have the meetup. Fast forward to the to kind of like the end of the episode. Um, so, Glaber has sent the Romans over there to find out what's happening at the mines. Um, you know, we saw how they arrived. Mirror with that deadly beatdown and stabs and stuff like that. Of the, the guy that was running that side of the mines, I guess um so yeah man that was pretty cool then they went through the mines they found nivia but the part that got me the most was the situation with crixus where crixus kind of told him hey i hold them back and buy you some time get out of here but it ended up that he got captured he did, i thought asher was going to kill him i really did thought asher was going to kill him but he just knocked him out with the hilt of the sword so I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen in episode four, of course, man, because now he's going to be brought back, interrogated and stuff like that. So now Spartacus is probably going to have to end up going back to the house of Batiatas again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just when they think, just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. So, um... It it's just goes to show you, man, like, I didn't expect this to happen because I thought they was going to get out and then they can make plans to keep building the army that they're building and probably go to Neapolis, meet up back, uh, meet back up with whatever his name is. I forgot his name again. Um, Argon. Argon. I need to remember that name. Ar Ar Argon, right? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, so Argon, they got to they gotta meet back up with him i don't know if they're gonna do that now but we got navia back and now we lost crixus it, it's just you know and the writing it the way how they do it is so brilliant and it's so unexpected like you don't expect this to happen i, I thought he was gonna sacrifice himself um but him getting captured is actually worse than him getting killed at this point so i'm still worried about him at the end of the day but hey 
this is where we are in the series right now. And I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. So shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to, to the one person who doesn't like watching the second season. You know what I'm saying? Because they're complaining about the actor, uh, how he's forcing himself to, to, to be like the original guy that played Spartacus. Um, so shout out to you. Stop complaining. Just don't watch my reaction. That's what I have to say to that person. Just don't watch it. it you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I hate when people click on something to watch something that they've watched before. It's not like it's the first time they're watching Spartacus. This is probably like more than one. You know what I'm saying? So why why come on the channel to complain about something that you've watched before? Why are you watching it if you if you if your opinion of it is that it sucks. Why are you watching my reactions? I don't know. But anyways, people are people. You can't, you, you, you know, certain things you just don't understand about people, you know, but you just got to let it be. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I'm psyched to watch episode four whenever that's going to be. It's probably going to be this weekend. I might do this one um this weekend um so we'll see we'll see how things go but anyways man thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys later don't forget to like comment subscribe if you're new Terabyte out <laughs>